The average price on an ATW deal, it's going to depend on what kind of deal you're buying. If you're buying a vendor finance deal, that is generally going to be, we say, 55000 to $75,000. Now, I say it depends on the kind of deal because if you buy one of our owner finance or win the battle, lose the war deals, those deals can be far less. Those deals would be 20000 to forty thousand dollars, and then of course with hard money lending, the hard money lending opportunity, the minimum amount is five thousand dollars. So as you can see, the answer to that question depends on the deals that you you look at. But there is a, a price point and a an investment for every price range as far as the investor is concerned. When you're on boot camp, one of the things that you'll do is you'll notice that we'll have deals available for sale. The amount of money that is required to put a deal under contract is $2,000. That $2,000 is totally non-refundable. So the moment that you decide you want a particular deal, $2,000 is what will be taken from you. And we accept cash, we accept credit cards, and we accept wires, but they have to be same day wires as methods of payment. So cash, credit or same day wires and it's two thousand dollars so the next question is how much money do I need to open up a bank account that's there's two parts to this question first one is it's fifty dollars that is needed to actually open the bank account but once we've got the bank account open, if we don't want to have any recurring fees, we need to add another $300 into the bank account balance. By having $350 total, you will not have any bank account fees. Now, the one thing to say about this is, this is as of this recording, which is 2015, the banks change their policy quite often, but we expect this to be the policy for the next 12 months. So $350, get your bank account open, and you don't have any reoccurring fees. The next question is, what kind of markets am I going to look at on a boot camp? Well, I don't want to get into too much of our neighborhood grading system, but because that's something that we're going to save for when you guys are actually over here on the seminar. But one of the things that I will say is you're going to look at a diverse market. You know, San Antonio very, is a very diverse market. Uh, there's lots of opportunities here. And remember as well, part of the thing that's great about the boot camp is you're going to go to cities that are outside of San Antonio as well. So there will be a wide array of different markets that you will look at. But the one thing that you'll notice is we are very particular in, in the way that we do our renovation work to specifications of particular markets. And then on top of that, uh, we actually, the due diligence that is done is specified to each and every individual market. So while the markets may be diverse and be quite a few, the due diligence that is done is unique to that individual market as is the renovation budget. Okay, next question is what kind of strategies can I invest in with my self-managed super fund? So for that, let me go to the board here, self-managed super fund investments. So at ATW, we have a few different kinds of investments. We have our vendor finance. We have our wrap finance. We have our personal owner finance, otherwise known as win the battle, lose the war. We have hard money lending. With self-managed super funds, there are a couple of different answers to this question. One is the only one right now that is approved by the ATO is vendor finance. So vendor finance, you can do with your self-managed super fund, which is very important because vendor finance is the foundation of your portfolio. So the portfolio that you should build in the United States, vendor finance is the foundation of that. Wrap finance is out, 
and uh, private owner finance is out. And the reason why those are out is because they have a debt component attached to them. So because of that, they're out. Then we look at hard money lending. And hard money lending is an interesting case because it does not have any debt. It does not have any debt attached to it. You are the lender, just like the vendor finance, and there is no debt attached to it. So you would think hard money lending is, is approved. It currently is not approved. Now, I need your guys' help. I'm, I'm sort of an appeal here to work with the ATO and teach them the actual strategies and steps to hard money lending so that we can get this approved. But again, be clear, currently it is also not approved. So hard money lending not approved, uh, lose the battle, win the war, private finance not approved, rap finance not approved, vendor finance is A-OK -okay when it comes to building out your portfolio with self-managed super funds. Now, one thing I'll also say about self-managed super funds is get started on it before you come to the boot camp. The sooner you get your self-managed super funds set up and ready to go, the more properties that are going to be available to you. The reason why I say that is at an ATW boot camp, there will be different funding times. So we'll have this deal here. Here's a house and here's some information about it. This will be a pro forma. And one of the things that will be on that pro forma is the amount of time that you, the investor, have to fund the deal. And the times that we offer are seven days, 14 days, 21 days, 30 days, and 45 days. And then there is a very rare one, which is 45 plus days. So we already know on most boot camps, we're not gonna have many of those. These will be the deals that we have. If you have not set up your self-managed super fund before you've come over to the States, the only deals that you have a chance to look at are the 45 days deals. The reason why is the amount of time that it would take for your self-managed super fund to be set up, which is normally around 60 days, takes, now the people that we work with at SAPI normally work uh, far more efficiently, but it is a 30 to 60 day process, hence why we let 45 days in for the investors on boot camp. But for our investors that are on, on the boot camp and have not set up their self-managed super fund, 30's out, 21's out, 14's out, 7's out. So you can see the overwhelming amount of deals that you will not have access to buying just because your self-managed super fund is not set up yet. So if you have any questions about self-managed super funds or wanting to get in contact with the ATW approved uh, financial planners that do self-managed super funds for our clients, make sure you send an email to contact at ATW-investments and specify, I watched this video and I want to have more than just 45 day options when I come on boot camp and we'll be sure to help you out. But 7, 14, 21, 30, and 45, if you have set up your self-managed super fund before you come out, all of these will be available to you. If you haven't, then only 45 days.